Hey guys, it is Matt from Armstrong Gaming. We are back with episode Whoa. two of Borderlands Hello. the pre-sequel! We are on Elphus! We have just been shot out of the moon cannon and we are being well, saved by an Aussie! It's called Spriggs. Alright, cool. So, um, key thing. I'm don't playing Claptrap, I, I don't need to worry about breathing. If you're playing this game, this is not a guide how to survive in a, you know, oxygenless environment, a vacuum environment. So yeah, the game will prompt you whenever you step out of a oxygen field and be like, warning, vacuum present, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, take advice. Um, you're going to have to pay attention to this. You'll get a little O2 uh, status bar underneath your health bar. This way. Um, there's some pretty cool stuff. Alright, you see the little blue thing straight ahead of me? You want to find these things when you move. There's another one down there. Um, these basically generate oxygen. These are very important yeah. for those what characters that breathe. Um, so thankfully, I haven't needed that and you basically just activate them by pressing X on your controller if you're using the Xbox. I uh, want to say it's triangle on the PS systems. Um, I have no idea. I don't play a PS. I hope to soon though. Um, anyway, so Janie's going to take us along to her little hard hole. Um, yeah, so you can see them on the map. They're these little diamond shaped things. You can see two on the left, a little cash symbol and one on the right. If you go and stand in those little, little um, uh, geysers of oxygen, basically, it'll Everybody replenish your oxygen. The other Nine use of oxygen in this game is for when you are jumping. If you jump and then press and hold A, you can release 10 units, maximum 10 at this point, of oxygen to maintain your flight. There's a signal somewhere on the moon that is jamming Helios station's defenses. To return to Helios, we need to destroy the jamming signal. A jamming signal? Haven't noticed anything like that. You right, might in case I talk order. over this bit Little later, a Merif is the, the combination of a sheriff and a mayor You'll into need an one O2 person. So he's the Merif of the town. To the journey, I've got oh, some I, can, I like what this game nearby, does. It's, it's really funny at times. Even it has its moments. I enjoy playing this game thoroughly if you cannot tell. By far it's one of my favourite games. I'm so happy that I finally sat down to play it once upon a time and I haven't stopped. Alright, cool. So this is Janie's base. Um, obviously, fast travel, way station, uh, crappy bits of loot, yada yada yada. And down here, we've got some more vending machines. I'm pretty stocked up. Yeah, don't really need anything. High quality, um, they've gotten rid of Dr. Uh, Z in this, which I'm a little annoyed about, but I'm, I can understand why to a degree. Obviously, it's a Hyperion version. But at the same point, Marcus is here, and I think Marcus has got a monopoly on the gun market, which is understandable why he hasn't been replaced. But why get rid of Doctor Z? Like, I, I I don't I don't get it. I'm sure there's an explanation, and I will see one later. I guess. All right, cool. So we sold some guns. We bought a new shield, which has got immunity to corrosive damage. Can't get a car yet. Let's go pick up this O2 kit. Obviously, can't do anything else. So this O2 kit will allow you to basically breathe for a little bit longer out in the vacuum. But for the time being, you can hold your breath. Guys, I'm a scientist, uh, chemist by trade. No. Vacuums don't work that way, good night. Um, but look, it's a game. Fuck reality, we're on a moon in the future, apparently, so, you know, let's, let's run around in zero Gs, you no know, gravity, and not worry about oxygen. Alright, so these are the geysers that I was talking about, see those little blue things that appear as triangles on your minimap? Yeah, they're your lifeline, guys. Um, I don't need to worry about it, but you guys do, and when I step inside it, you can hear Claptrap breathing, and I don't know why, but he, he's got this weird... Yeah. Alright, so this is the first of the moon's inhabitants. So it's a Kragon. Um, when you shoot these big Kragons, they explode into two smaller pebble Kragons. Um, as you can see in the background, there's one, and there's the other one. Uh, 
they take reduced damage to almost completely immunity of fire. Um, so don't use flaming weapons on them even though they've only got hit points and not. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. There's another one called so Awesome but So Inaccurate. I'm not sure what it's doing to be honest. It's, it's, I'm finding it very difficult to learn what they're all doing but there's so many different claptrap powers. It looks like there's unicorns and skulls and stuff bouncing all over the place. I don't know which Vault Hunter that one's relating to, but oh, I'll figure it out later, I guess. I haven't seen Bricks one yet, where you punch stuff. I've seen the Gunzerking. I've seen the Commando. I haven't seen Bloodwing, although that might have been Bloodwing, actually. Um, what else have I seen? Krieg. Um, Page, which is the Mechromancer. Craig's uh, obviously the crazy barbarian dude. Anyway. Alright, so if you go somewhere to set before, the moon's got reduced gravity, so you can jump really high. It's a jumping game. I'm not a big fan of jumping games. Oh, I I loved it's it. it's going to ask you to jump Just from here to there. The and, you know, that's has its moments, um, but you know, so far that's my biggest downside of this game. Um, you can see it here, like... <laughs> Obviously, the door's still locked, so I go, oh, I'll just shoot that. Bullets won't crush it, but my hand will. Like, yes, I'm a mechanized droid, but I can also imagine a human punching that and going, yeah, well, a bullet wouldn't work. Who'd have thunk it? Anyway, so, yeah, different loot chambers and everything like that. Um... In Zero G, something I like that they put in, because there's a little bit of air inside those canisters, when you open them, the stuff can shoot out at you. So here they just open them there, but with the Zero G, they move out because the oxygen's being displaced. Which is really cool. I like that. Um, so they've done some things really nice that I, I like, and other things that I'm just like, that, that irks me, like a bad science fiction movie, but... Yeah. Oh, I didn't notice that. There's a little chest over there. I didn't notice this before. I paused, and you can see it just there near my what? cursor. Um, guys, go pick that up. Like, you should be able to jump like across that after you hand in this quest, because you now, then get the O2 kind of star, which will allow you to do an extended did. jump, he basically, or a boost, as the game refers he's to He's also got something I'll need to get us into Concordia. So here's your O2 thing, which in zero... In a vacuum, you get a 12% gun damage. I think that is going to be standard across the board, but... Eh? Alright, so we're still doing the tutorial, mind you. Anyway, he's got the Digistract key for my Zoomy stations. Killing him will get you to Concordia and make my weak. Win-win! Had a little bit of a... What happened there? I must have cut that incorrectly. Oh, I apologize for that, guys. Um... Alright, so we've picked up a mission which is to go kill Deadlift. And we're going to go pick up the key to do this. So we're going to wander out here back into the Zero G's. And here comes Spriggs again. Yeah, um, it was one of those things where I walked away from my computer. That's what happened. And I got teleported or something. I have no idea what happened. I literally was back at the base. Um, yeah, so... Right, cool, so you, you can pick up two missions from her, which is Tales from Alphas and The Land Among the Stars. And this is going to teach you how to do the one of the new abilities for the jump smash. Did my accent throw you off? I meant to say... Oh, this is the anti-American bit. fix up some inspirational posters, y'all. Donuts, cowboys, homophobia. They sell like hotcakes on the black market, and yeah, I've already so run out of Yeah, so she has a go at obviously an American stereotype or being an Australian stereotype. Try not to take offense, guys. <laughs> like, I found it kind of funny to a degree, but eh, I was also insulted by the Australian stereotypes in this, so I do not blame you guys if you find the American stereotypes offensive as well. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to find the Australian stereotypes funny, so... All's fair. <laughs> Alright, so we're heading up over here. Uh, I'm going to use this platform as a ledge. And just jump up. And jump to there. And jump up here. Good thing about it, it there's an oxygen thing there if anybody needs it. This is the jump pad. 
I've set up a bunch of cameras at the apex of your jump. I just need you to get airborne and say something inspirational. Uh. Sorry, say something inspirational, y'all. I'm facing the wrong way for the targets, by the way, guys, so I failed this cool. one. Um, there the targets I'll there. The I've turned away targets. from them for some god knows reason. Like, because I'm trying to look for where they come from. And say something inspirational and again. This is a jump. Oh, there they are. Little rubber duckies. Missed them both. Alright. So, bounce. Gotta get a higher jump. Bounce. And you can see my little O2 meter is at 70. Alright, so just in front of you cool and look is the as uh, pressure pad. I'm not moving forward, I'm just slamming down. That's it there. I realise that I moved the camera forward, get to the highest point I can, and BAM! There we go. And then money! Money for all of your hard work. Mm, it's not a lot of money, but yeah, it's alright. Cool. Right, so, cool. if you need oxygen, now, it's just over there to your right, and the quest is down to your left. So we wander down into here Ooh. and so forth, and there's less than a minute to go on this video. So I'm going to start my wrap up. I hope you guys have enjoyed this um, little bit of a walkthrough, playthrough sort of scenario from <gasps> Armstrong Gaming. Uh, it's a brand new game. It's literally just hit well today. Um, so most people who have it will either be playing it and I hope those of you who don't have it hope this is enough to give you guys incentive to buy it. It is a fantastic game at don't, this point. Don't freak out. Hope you've enjoyed it. This is Matt from Armstrong Gaming. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me comments. If you guys want me to play something other than Claptrap, let me know. Take care guys, have a good day. Enjoy Borderlands the pre-sequel.